Hi, this is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television on location in San Francisco at the Air Sex World Championships. I have actually found a contestant. His name is Derek. Hi, Derek. Hello. If I were to become um, an air sex champion, like what do you recommend I wear? <laughs> Currently, I'm wearing two condoms. Okay. Uh, one to uh, prevent any sort of STDs, and the other one to prevent friction with the uh, cut-off dickies that I'm wearing at the okay. moment. I have found another air sex world championships contestant. Contestant, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm uh, Crim Brulade. I'm coming from Berkeley, California. Wait, is that a baguette, or are you just happy to see me? It's both. <laughs> so do you think that this is a good way for you to meet girls? Um, well, my girlfriend probably wouldn't like that, but you know, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> I am back in the green room with some red-hot competitors, so go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Robo Lover, and uh, I'm from Berkeley. I see that you actually are one of the contestants who has like bags and bags of props. This does not um, spell air sex to me. It, um, <laughs> you know, they're they're very explicit with with that. Props are allowed, oh. and and so uh, on, on their website they they do mention that. And I can you explain one of the props to me because I see a motherboard, an umbrella, I see scissors, I see a clock, I see. Ro Some, yeah. Ro Robo Lover is, is the name, and I, okay. you know, I think that this maybe is self-explanatory on that. It's just part of the costume, and, and maybe this is, um, I hope, uh, to be bringing this out uh, as um, uh, another prop, maybe as some kind of a uh, Robo Lubricant or something. <laughs> I'm here on location in the bathroom with Dick Oxygen. Dick, can you tell me about your performance and your your inspiration. I haven't been with a woman in 14 years. Wait, aren't you 14? <laughs> I mean, you look about 14. That's a very comedic observation. Yes, that's my job. <laughs> so what was it that it happened in your childhood that, that made you choose this sport as opposed to another Olympic type of championship? Uh, you know, like laying on the floor and watching um, TV, you know, you don't really move around a whole lot, so I usually just thrust the ground and, um, you know, I think that that, that may have uh, started a little something. When I was seven years old, I walked into my mother and father having sex while watching porno, and uh, it was a disturbing experience, but it really has inspired me throughout the years to uh, become an air sex champion. How do your parents feel about your <laughs> sportsmanship? Well, my, uh, my dad doesn't know. My mom wished me good luck, and she, uh, she said, break a leg, although I told her I was in five-inch heels, so she's like, okay, maybe not. And my sister, um, she, she just kind of nodded her head, and she's like, that's interesting. Have you ever ejaculated? Beg your pardon? So have you never ejaculated air or other types of... I didn't know it was that kind of show. <laughs> you plan on taking off your shirt? Not a chance. No. Not a chance. Do you have any particular um, way that you're thinking of impressing the judges? Yeah, I'm going to go to the stage and I'm going to have sex with air. much. We would like to uh, let your parents know that we appreciate that they made someone like you. I'm sure they'll be glad to hear that. Oh, they're dead. Okay. They live upstairs. Oh. <laughs> But not any women. Like you don't want to like practice. I I don't want to taint. I don't want to taint what I have to okay. offer with just giving it to women. No. Okay. No. <laughs>